is an interesting vortex there. And we got slimes. Classic slimes. That don't do much. I am fascinated that they actually have uh, persistent music and battle music on basic enemies. So that wasn't from Sauce Thing until Sekiro. What? Ooh. Uh, I thought I would get like a critical hit there. And classic slime, slime sound. Hefty beast bone. So they drop very little runes. Big bone. Other disposable weapons. What are you? Uh oh. Boners. That's a lot of boners. And a cross boner. What? He dead angled me with that. Oh, they respawn. Sons of bitches. Stop stabbing! Give me the goods. Was that a gold pickled foul foot? Alright, we need a divine weapon. Spirit spring jumping. While on horseback. Okay, so I need a horse. Can't just hop up this thing. I'll leave your boners alone. Oh god, the lag. Ooh. A little persistent, but I got at least somewhere, I guess. Huh. Interesting. So they just kind of stand guard at their leash point for a little while before backing off. Alright. So can we... Alright. We can fast travel from anywhere. I kind of wish that wasn't the case. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'll appreciate that later on. But I kind of like fast traveling games, <laughs> games where like there's a fast travel point. That way you can't just like be I'm in a pickle and immediately get the fuck out of there. All right, shall we follow the golden path? But maybe dodge that asshole for the moment. Another merchant. Church of Ele. Why is this guy in Santa Claus? You're a tarnished. I can see it. And I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kale. Purveyor of fine goods. Okay. Cracked pot. Crafting kit. Ooh. Alright, we'll take it. Probably better to have that sooner than later. Alas. Okay. There's a torch. I shall want that. I am of a nomadic people. Selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. Ah, oh, well, it's nice to be appreciated. Goodbye. Nice to do business. So once again, we're kind of we're kind of in a broken part of the world, like a broken land where. There are not, um, like, villages and shit. When you crack pots or other containers to craft certain items, you will not be able to make more of those than you have containers. Container items will run out with use, but the containers themselves will remain. 
Huh. Interesting. Um, but in this case, it's at least interesting to note that while this part of the world is perhaps broken, seems like other civilizations are still hanging in there, more or less intact. With a smithing table, and spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Let's give it a shot. Smithing stone. Kind of silly that it's just called smithing stone. Not like titanite or something. Alright, well I should like to upgrade, but I need another stone. Yeah, we heard that already. So when... Ah, so it's just in the menu. Fur Calling Finger Remedy. Reveals co-op and hostile summoning signs. So you need to consume something just to see those? Bone Dart. Feed to Torrent. So the horse just has a default name. That's all I have available right now. These I assume I need the containers for. These are the throw behind you fire pots, which always kind of seemed weird that they had to be a separate item. That's prism stones. So I guess there's a consumable item just to engage in online play. Or is that just like a one? No, because we already found two of those. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that was deliberate, though. For calling finger remedy to summon, reveal summon signs. It says use. It doesn't say consume. So I don't know if that's a consumable. Eh, it does say consumable. That's kind of weird that it's a consumable item to engage in online play. I guess it's kind of like humanity, but... At least in with humanity, if you didn't die, you didn't lose it. That looks gross. Can't tell which way it's facing. It looks like it's facing the other way. What? It is turning. It is barnacles. Very slow moving barnacles. Alright. So Ow! Bugger! Musqueet. That is kind of surprising. I've got legitimate flying enemies now. Where'd the other musqueeter go? Come on, then. Don't be a bitch. Oh god, my nose itches. You ass. You ass is ass. Dragonfly. Hello, gross weirdo. Ew. One thing uh, I also notice is that even though you are limited by stamina as far as consecutive attacks, there is kind of a combo attack system where the last attack on the combo is a pretty long recovery before you can begin attacking again. Poor toys. Oh, he's a monkey. Turtle neck meat. Probably take the shell or shell fragments or something. Oh, we got some lads over here. Is 
those look like hollows. Oh my god, that noise. The noise you made as he was dying. I definitely have heard that. That was in the game 7, I think. I understand that you cannot have... an extensive library of custom... Uh, like sound effects and vocalizations. Also, the transition of weather effects is pretty... Pretty obvious. But, uh, it just seems like there, there must be a greater library out there that you don't have to keep reusing ones that every video game is using. Another cave. I've, I've lost the track of where I was meant to go. So. Underground tomb. It's always exciting. Stormfoot Catacombs. We were looking for Storm Veil, I think. Early day. Oh god. Ghost lad. What, what is hanging around your neck? Proper death means returning to the Erd tree. Have patience until the time comes and the roots call to you. Well, I'm not in a hurry. Na na na. Hello! Little gremlins. These definitely have the same animations as the fucking thralls from Dark 3. Like every single one of them. Like, not to be a hard ass about that kind of thing, but. So obvious. Root resin. Don't give up, skeleton. It'd be nice if the things that say use for crafting items kind of gave an indication of what you might use them for, just so kind of know in advance of what kind of things we can find or make. Grave glow wart. Oh, sorcery. I ain't got no sorceries. It's probably a bit early for me to be here. I'm not sure if I want to proceed, but, uh... What's the harm? You're obviously gonna chuck shit. God dang. It really is pretty... Oh, man, I hate that. That can cause bleed through your block. Um, like, when you cross a threshold, it is pretty extreme. Because, like, obviously, as soon as I step out here, it's starting to load shit outside. As soon as I step this way, it's starting to load more shit inside and unload shit outside. So when you have combat at those thresholds, it gets fucky. This is on PC. I mean, it, it, it is available on Xbox, if that's what you mean. I'm playing it on PC. I heard the Xbox version was pretty shit. Prawn? Good stuff. Uh, 
I don't like that. Hi, sir. These guys don't hurt too bad, all things considered, but... I wish I did more damage. Can I get through that? I don't feel like I can get through that in time. I did. Oh boy. Woo! That felt a little toasty. Go forth. I could see what's in there. It looks like one of them kind of traps that as you go around it is going to start blowing in a different direction. Is it going to be that way? Somebody died here. Look at these twats. Absolute twats. What? He hurt me by falling. Dick Lords? Oh god. Oh gracious. I am using a controller. What? Why'd that come down? I like how the, the blood loss accumulated because he kept hitting my corpse. But I was already dead. Uh, uh. So using that kind of like guard move for fighting groups isn't the biggest help. Guys do seem, they seem like gargoyles, aka made of stone. So I wonder if using a blunt weapon would be better. Hey, asshole. Of course, of course. The moment I jump, that's when he's falling down. You can't, uh, guard after jumping. Woohoo! Quispy. Oh god! I got stuck! That sucked, I got stuck on the wall. Really? Stabbed right past him? Pretty generic dungeon so far. You don't throw shit. You come right here and fight like a man. I know he's got buddies in there. I'm gonna lure him away where that one can't keep throwing shit. Don't leash. Ah, you punk. Spirit Calling Bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Only summon one type of spirit at a time, you cannot summon during multiplayer. So... I think I had heard about that. So we can basically summon... Um... Like, common enemies as, like, little followers. Spirits of nobles who after death now wander the lanes between. Surely they're in search of something once. Whatever it was has long been forgotten. 
Do we equip that? Somewhere interesting? Just a normal equipment slot. I have no ashes to use it. Down? I thought it was just gonna drop us all the way back down where we started, but... Yahoo! Every door is opened. Ah, it's behaving somewhat childish, Dungeony. A very brief dungeon, then. I'd like to see what's beyond these fuego traps. I mean, we've been beyond one of them, but we're stopped. Oh god, that was a real bad idea. Okay, so just giving him a good slap seems to make him go away. But then you can unslap to bring him back up. Prattling pate, hello. What? Beg your pardon. It's a voice that says hello. Okay. Is it literally just going to sound like a uh, Hawkeye Goff? Hello. Oh. I actually thought they were going to reuse it. It sounded more like the, uh, the giant blacksmith, though. Hi. Yeah. That'd be how it is. Oh, my God. Really? It didn't even touch me. Away with ye. What? Okay, so I guess even stepping on it makes it go back up. Oh lord. Take a good gander. Make sure there aren't more of these assholes. Kind of curious why they won't all spring up at once. Unless I engage a very specific enemy. I don't really want to chuck this if I can use it for something later. I do want to chuck something at him. I'm worried if I run past this, they're gonna knock it back up, and then I'm gonna have to deal with the fuego again. And just slay snatch and leg on. At least that's a very consistent kind of technique there. Well, do I dare? Do I want to save this for later? Someone said try sorceries in one of the messages outside, so I ain't got none of those. Where is this cat critter? Oh, it's a dog apparently. That is some, uh, really 
pleasant animations to watch. God, he hits hard. Gonna breathe. Oh, Lord above. Interesting boss. God, he just keeps going. Ouchie. I rolled right into it. Ow. He just keeps going. Whoa! That like didn't even have an animation to it. Ow. Oh, that's that. Good lord. I might just do this unlocked. No, sir. That is just instant, that move. Almost instant. No, it's not that bad. It's just the weirdness of his attacks. Given that he's basically an animated statue. I wonder if this is going to be a consistent thing, though, where, like, the run to the boss is that straightforward and no enemies in between. Although, if I'm not using frickin', uh, the frickin' frickins, any weapon arts or nothing, might as well not have the FP potion. See, I hate that. That move is kind of whack. Going ham. Yeah, fool. Noble Sorcerer Ashes. Got more ashes. I think that's a pretty good, like, first boss. It's not that challenging. Very obvious attacks. Easy to read. Other than, like, that kind of instant stand-up move. But you can tell that's coming once you see it the first time. Um, but in general, not that difficult to deal with. Good opener. Whetted the appetite. Kinda 
checks your skills a little bit. Return to entrance? Do we not get a more interesting reward? Why do I need a return to entrance thing when I'm five feet from the entrance already? Alright, so all I got for that was somebody's ashes. Oh, that doesn't even like restore my health or nothing. Alright, so that to be that, 